Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Distinguished guests, respected brothers and sisters, and dear friends. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. May the Almighty shower His blessings on all of us. This evening, we are honored by the presence of prominent journalists from our mother country. Mr. Ajit Sahi and Mr. N.P. Chakuti, who run their shows in a different collegium. Sirs, it's our pleasure and privilege to be with you here and to listen to you. We also have other eminent personalities from the city to grace the occasion. The occasion is pleasant. However, the theme we are discussing here is a bit disturbing. We are all proud to be Indians. All of us aspire India to be the number one in each and every aspect. As expatriates, though physically we are here, our souls and dreams are on the other side of the Arabian Sea, in our motherland. Our villages, our playgrounds, our paddy fields, those rivers and streams, waterfalls, mountain peaks, whatever, you name it. Yes, we want this land of beauty and heritage be secure and safe. Unity in diversity, that's what makes us distinct. We are proud of our pluralistic society in which Hindus, Muslims, Christians, Sikhs and all other different religious or linguistic groups live side by side in harmony. We always cherish to go back home and lead a peaceful life enjoying the enchanting beauty and serenity of our motherland. Dear brothers, despite all these things, the recent developments back home in India breed a sort of perturbing feeling in us about the integrity and future of our motherland. Any activity that undermines the stability and secularism of our social fabric is a vital concern for us. It is in this context the role of media be analyzed. Media, one of the pillars of a mature and successful democracy, have a very instrumental role in molding an atmosphere that is supportive of maintaining a harmonious social structure. Unfortunately, and very unfortunately, we have seen and been witnessing the media pouring petrol on fire and joining hands with anti-national fascist forces. They manufacture news, they cook the news, they make sandwiches with falsehood on either side of the news. In our opinion, this is going to impact the national integrity in long run. <clears throat> the title of tonight's program, Indian Media Reporting on Manufacturing Consent, is in fact indebted to a thesis by Noam Chomsky, the famous US philosopher and a prominent critic of American policies, both domestic and foreign. He postulates that the media in modern times are a big corporate business wherein they sell the product, the readers and viewers, to their customers, the advertisers. He explains the different filters and processes through which a news item has to pass through before the final product, the manufactured news, is produced. These filters are nothing but various interest groups who play their role in buying or manufacturing people's consent. Indian media are not different from this general pattern. I would like to recall how the media 
by supporting the establishment, the power filter during the emergency in 1975-77. Mainstream media are losing its credibility on a daily basis nowadays. The pictures we see, the analysis we hear, the stories being told are all junged with nonsense and falsehood. They don't even care to give two contradictory versions at the same time without questioning it. We have seen this recently with respect to the Delhi bomb blast. Different versions at the same time. See what happened while reporting the Jamia Milia shooting. There were many patches in the police version. I don't want to go into the details. However, the fact is that the mainstream media, except one or two, didn't show the courage to challenge the, challenge the official version. The fourth estate should play the role of a watchdog in a democracy. When they become just the megaphones of the establishment or cooking and manufacturing news without respecting any ethics, it causes serious damage to our country. In the long run, we think it will ruin the secular fabric and national integrity. Mr. Ajit Sahi, the editor at large of Tehelka, is here with, with us with a lot of real time field experience. He has traveled extensively throughout India to uncover the truth behind the spurious and concocted reports by the so called mainstream media. He will speak on how Indian media is reporting issues. The other guest of honor today, Mr. N.P. Chakuti, he is the executive editor of Malayalam Daily Tejas. He will speak on or he will explore the possibility of alternative media in our context. I am sure this enlightened audience of Doha will definitely benefit from these talks and it would help us to identify the real enemies of the country who are engaged in activities that destabilize and lead to disintegration of our beloved motherland. With this, let me put a period to my speech. And I would like to invite first Mr. Hussein Ahmed of Impact to deliver his felicitation speech, which will be followed by our guest speakers. Mr. Hussein. <laughs> 